All right, we're here for the 2018-19 River States Conference Men's Basketball Media Day. Um, joined today by head coach Casey Coons in his first season as head coach at Ohio Christian, as well as Justin Barksdale, uh, freshman forward from Fishers, Indiana. Um, start off today with Justin. Uh, Justin, obviously, you knew the program. You don't have background information necessarily from the past couple of years, but last year, the team finished with a record of 12 and 17, third overall in the RSC East Division. Um, as this team begins a new season with a lot of new faces, New coaching staff, especially. Uh, what are you going to be? What are going to be your expectations as we enter this season? Um, I'd like to be as successful as possible. Um, I'd like our guys to be, you know, to carry the team well on and off the court. Um, I'd like us to be able to grow, you know, as the season goes on, and um, be a lot of be able to do a lot of good things, you know, throughout the season. Yeah. Coach, first off, congratulations. Um, first season as a head coach has to feel good. Um, coming from Taylor. Um, just kind of give your feelings as we enter this season, especially being a head coach now. Um, what are your expectations for the team? Absolutely. It's been a lot of fun. It's been a good experience to this point. Uh, it's been very humbling uh, as we, you know, coming in with, a, like you said, a lot of new faces. We've got some returning guys as well. Um, we're still really trying to gel together, uh, figure out a lot of things from our staff to our players as well, and just how things will run with our program. But. Well, uh, we think we've got a good group of guys. Uh, we know our conference is tough, our schedule is tough, but uh, we're really looking forward to the opportunity to grow together each week. I um, think we've got a lot of growth potential um, with so many new faces and, and a new system and a new staff. So we're really excited about what this year is going to hold. Uh, Justin, for you, um, we've had you know about a month of practice now. You guys have played an exhibition match now. Um, as you look at the team, from an individual perspective and as a team perspective, what's going to be kind of the biggest thing you guys focus on in the next couple weeks to get prepared for the season? Um, well, we have to do a lot more. Um, I feel like communicating on the floor. Uh, you know, we got to start learning how each other plays and um, how we can use that. You know, against other teams. Um, but as far as myself, like I want to take on more of like a leadership role and you know help guys with you know um, learn different spots and. Just being the best that I can be, you know, on and off the floor as well in that leadership role. So, um, but I think if you know we start to, um, you know, just grow together and bond more together, I mean, it'll help us go very far, you know, in the season. Um, coach, from your perspective, um, I know you're still learning a lot of the guys, but if you look at maybe one or two guys that are returning, and then maybe one or two new faces. Um, who do you really see setting up and impacting your program this season? Right. I, I, think we're, I think we're still in a pretty interesting spot where we're still learning a lot of that. Um, we, we, like you said, we, we've got a pretty new roster, and we've got guys that are still trying to mold together um, and figure out how they're going to fit well into what we do collectively as a team. Um, I think the biggest strength of ours is going to be how well we play together um, rather than really having to, to lock in on one or two guys having to contribute um, you know, huge output every night. I think we've got a group of eight to ten guys that will all contribute um, in various ways. It'll be how well we can click together um, that will determine how, how quickly we get this thing rolling. So um, as far as the one or two specific guys, I, I really think it will have to really be a collective effort for us to be successful. Thanks, Coach. Um, Justin, last question for you. Obviously, you haven't played in the River States Conference yet, so you don't know maybe a lot of the competition was based off of. Um, but it is a tough conference. We have a lot of teams home or away that bring your A game no matter what the opponent is. Um, as you guys prepare, go through the non-conference slate especially, um, what are going to be kind of main things you work on to get ready for that tough conference schedule? Um, just making sure that we practice hard every day. Um, we don't take any days for granted. and We work hard in the weight room. Um, I mean, those are pretty key things because, you know, there's a lot of guys, you know, that have, you know, that very next level, you know, potential, you know, where they can make it to the league or play overseas. So um, just making sure we take every day and work hard and um, just work on little things and that'll help us as far as being successful throughout the year. Uh, Coach, coming off your first exhibition match of the season, um, like you said, you're still molding a lot of your players, still getting the team in a groove together. Um, but what's going to be the biggest thing, if you could pick one thing to focus on to kind of get that momentum building as we enter the season? Uh, I think the biggest thing through practice and through that exhibition is just the consistency of our effort and execution. Um, 
we have we still have some lulls right now where um, it's still learning the new system, the expectations, how we want to play. Uh, the biggest thing for us moving forward is going to be if we can string together more consistent days um, where guys are on the same page. We know how we want to play, how we want to attack other teams, how we want to defend. Um, if we can give more and more consistency from day to day and week to week, um, I think that'll allow us to really build and continue to move forward. A uh, couple questions, Coach, for you on your schedule. Um, first off, we'll talk non-conference. You guys got a lot of tough non-conference games. Uh, not going to take it easy on the guys. Right. Um, they're going to get a good taste of any high competition right after that. Um, what do you see those type of games against Iowa and teams like that doing for your program as you enter the season? Right. I think every coach in the country says that their schedule is really hard. <laughs> but I feel like we're right up there. Uh, we'll play Indiana Wesleyan, who's the defending national champs. We'll play St. Francis, who's the defending national runner-up at our level. Uh, Marion was an Elite 18. Uh, we play a lot of Crossroads League teams, which is a, a really, really tough league. Um, Shawnee State's a really good NAID one. Uh, so we, we go, come right out of the gates with a lot of tough opponents um, that will really challenge us. I think it will really prepare us because uh, our league has several of the best teams in the country as well. Um, so when we can go out in the non-conference and, and get the top-notch competition uh, for, for our level, um, it's going to do nothing but prepare our guys. So that it'll, it'll give us a great litmus test of um, where we're at, what we need to get better at to be able to compete at that level night in and night out. Um, and our conference will do the same thing with IU East being a team that went to the Final Four last year, um, IU Southeast and West Virginia Tech being in the tournament. Uh, we're going to have to come in and compete every single night on the road and at home. Uh, and our non-conference is going to prepare us for that really quickly. So it'll be really good for our guys. You already just highlighted um, some of the teams in the conference that you're going to get is kind of being the, the forerunners of the conference this season. You have the IU East, you have the Southeast, you have the West Virginia Techs. Um, a lot of teams that have had experience in the tournament um, coming forward. Um, what are just one or two goals for your team, especially the young team, in conference play this season? Right. Uh, we want to be competitive. Uh, we want to be able to step into any gym in the country on our schedule uh, and know that if we bring our best stuff, it'll be a great game. Um, <clears throat> and the rest of our league is, is continuing to get better. The rest of our league is bringing a lot of guys back. Um, <laughs> be, it's going to be competitive night in and night out. There won't be any gimmies. Um, and we know that we're going to have to bring our best stuff if we want to be competitive. Um, but we're hoping that our non-conference schedule and uh, the energy that we can bring in practice will prepare us for, to be able to go into any of those gyms and, and be competitive on any given night. All right, that's all we have for the day. Thanks, guys. Good luck this season. Thank you. Thanks.